Hi friends, welcome to my WIP and chat. WIP stands for work in progress and chat of course stands for chat, which is hopefully what we'll be doing. I'll be doing it. Um, you can work on your project while you're listening um, or you can grab a cup of coffee, sit down, listen to me in the background. Um, or of course you can be doing um, your chores <laughs> and listen to me then. Um, at the end, I'll be doing some of our questions that I typically do. So I think I picked out some good ones. Um, today I am working on my custom painting of Coco. Um, it's going pretty good. It's very heavy, um, three tens. So, um, I'm kind of this is also a square. So for those of you who don't know, this is a square painting, but it's also, I'm doing the letter M, but it's also on um, double-sided adhe adhesive, neither which of which I have worked with. So I haven't worked with square drills and I haven't worked with double-sided adhesive and I'm having problems kind of with it. Um, because, um, the drills want to pop some of them and I'm super confused as to why they are popping. The canvas itself seems to be, um, sticky. Uh, I know when I started, I kind of made a mistake and was doing things a little bit too tightly, but I did fix it. And it was only at the very, very beginning. But it seems like, I mean, in a couple other places, I have drills that are popping and they're not tight. So I'm really confused. I would so appreciate it if some um, experienced diamond painter would please um, leave a comment for me um, on suggestions or solutions to um, popping drills. And ugh, I turned my table off. Um, what could cause it um, besides, here, let me put this here so don't turn it off. Um, yeah, like what would some of the reasons be? I know obviously adhesive um, or drills that have um, divots underneath them, um, drills that are too tight, which again, I believe I started doing at the very beginning, um, but I fixed that. Um, I have spaces now and I did use a corrector where I started to try to kind of push drills around and make some room. So I'm hoping that that will fix it. So we'll see. I'm just, I'm a very anxious person. And so I don't want to ruin this painting. And I just, I'm worried that I'm going to because a couple of drills are popping and maybe that's just normal. Um, if there was a bunch, maybe I should worry, but it's not a bunch. It's, I'm going to say out of all that I've done, which I haven't done very much of the painting, but I've done a, a, a bit of it. I would say maybe five drills, six drills are popping. Um, maybe three on a regular basis. It's the same three. So yeah, if you guys have a suggestion for me, please leave it down in the comments. I would really, really appreciate that. That would be awesome. Thank you ahead of time. Appreciate that. So today is my Monday. Um, I almost made it into a pajama day. If you hear a noise in the background, it's my dishwasher. Um, it's my Monday. And I almost made it into a pajama day. I thought, I'm just going to stay in my pajamas all day. But I couldn't do it couldn't do it. Weird stuff causes me anxiety and for some reason today that was causing me anxiety so I decided to get dressed. <laughs> um, but the reason why I wanted to stay in pajamas today was it's 
um, kind of dreary, dreary outside. It's about 65 degrees um, and it's overcast, so which is nice on Sunday, I believe it was Sunday. Well, Saturday and Sunday, it was really hot and the sky was orange, which tells me we have some wildfires somewhere or there was a fire somewhere near us. Um, so, of course, today I can't see if that's the case because it's overcast, but it just kind of felt like one of those snuggy days, you know, where you just kind of want to make a cup of tea or have an extra cup of coffee. I've been having iced coffees, which is not like me. Normally I have just regular coffee, but it's been so darn hot. I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now because um, it's nice and cool. So, so yeah, let's see what's been going on in my life. Well, on Thursday, so four days ago, um, my husband works for the city so he gets a boot allowance and he needed to go and get boots and we go to Cabela's to go do that because they have the boots that he likes and since the city's paying for it um that's where we're gonna go so we went there on Thursday and my steering wheel on my car was acting up it was making a sound when I would turn it sorry if my hand is shaking it was making a sound when I turned it, but then it was also, it just felt weird, like when I was turning my steering wheel. So we went to Cabela's, we went to, uh, we were hungry, so we went to Taco Time. And then we came home, traffic was horrible, I don't know why, because it was a Thursday at like one o'clock, it was odd. Um, maybe everybody played hooky from work. So we came home, um, did some things around the house and my husband was my husband works on cars he's worked on cars his entire life and um, he pretty much diagnosed my car right away and said I think it's the control arms now me I have no idea what that means control arms. So I said, yeah, it's, it's probably the control arms. It's fairly common with your uh, model and make of car. Um, so we just need to get new control arms and then I can put them on. It's the bushing that goes bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because it's like, it would be like me trying to describe, I don't know, <laughs> something makeup or something to him and he would just be like what are you talking about I don't understand what you're talking about so when we came home on Thursday he ordered new control arms apparently there's one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side and it kind of I don't know really what they do um but it was messing up my steering it my car was steering fine it wasn't like I was having a problem steering but it was definitely you could feel something was going on okay um I'm gonna go ahead and go into this new area too because that's what I do oh there's an M up here um so he ordered those and what did we do on oh my god a lot of M's in here um, what did we do on Saturday? Pretty much nothing. I think it was a kind of a nothing day where we just hung out. Um, oh, my daughter came over with her boyfriend. That's right. And she came over kind of later. Let me grab another. Do I have enough? No. Let's do this. Um, and I ordered um, 
teriyaki just wasn't, it was so hot, you guys. It was just one of those days where you're just like, I'm not going to cook. I'm just going to order food. Um, so that was fun. They came over. They came over a little later, like around six, because she had to work. Um, so we kind of had dinner a little late and then they left around nine o'clock, but it was nice seeing her and she made me some vegan gluten-free brownies. So flippin' sweet. My kids are so sweet, you guys. They're so thoughtful. Just selfless, you know? It's just it's just awesome to see that. I, I just think it's amazing. They're just awesome people. Sorry, like I said, I don't know how to do score drills. So if you, if I'm like creeping people out, I'm sorry. Um, so that's what we did Saturday. And then Sunday, the parts for my car came. Um, so the boys, my husband and my son, um, jacked my car up and I'll, I've got a little, I, um, I have a thing about people being under cars and I don't know why, but it scares me like nothing. I mean, it, it scares me so much when somebody jacks up a car and gets underneath it. And I basically just came in here and diamond painted, um, to just try to ignore that they were doing that. So they put the control arms in. My my husband showed my son how to do the control arms. So my husband did one and my son did the other. And then they noticed when they were underneath my car that one of my brake lines, this is out of a movie, <laughs> one of my brake lines um, had a, it wasn't, it wasn't that it was broken, but it it had a um, like a crack in the outer sleeve, if you will, for better. Of, I I don't know really. Um, so he's like, that needs to be replaced too. So he called a local auto parts store, and they happen to have it, so they replaced that too. And my son changed my oil. Um, the reason for all of this, besides the fact that you should do that if there's something wrong with your car, um, is that we are going camping and we're going to be taking my car. So my car needs to be functional. I would like steering and brakes. That would be great in a vehicle. Something I look for in a vehicle. <laughs> steering and brakes. Yeah, pretty important. Hmm. So, yeah, we're getting ready to go camping. I'm pretty excited about that, you guys. Haven't been camping and oh, there's some more M's over here. Haven't been camping for about a year. We go, usually we go twice a year. This year, it's just, it's just the one time. I don't know why. Um, we didn't do that intentionally. It just ended up that way. Um, we could still go camping um, again, but I don't know if that's something that's, on the agenda or not. We haven't really talked about that. So, um, but yeah, we're going camping. Coco loves going camping. She absolutely loves it. Can you guys see right here? Right here. Yes. Okay. But right about here. Oh no, you can still see that. Okay. Um, she loves going camping. And I bring her little jackets and her little, she's got like a windbreaker and she's got a life jacket. She's got everything. We're all set. So this week I'm going to be writing out a list. I always do, my job is kind of to do the menu and the shopping list for all of the items that we need for that menu. And then just packing clothes and stuff like that. And my husband tends to do the, um, um, you know, things like the camp stove and the cooler and, um, the lanterns and all that kind of stuff. We basically don't camp. I'm just going to be honest. We glamp. We're, we're, we use a tent and stuff like that, but it's got like, 
LED lights in it and we have nightstand tables and we have a king size bed and um, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, I guess, but hey, you know, we're getting older and I want to be comfortable when I go camping now. I when Because we, when we go camping, we do quite a bit of hiking as well. Um, and when I get back to camp, I would like to be rest, feel rested, especially at night. I don't want to, I don't want to not feel rested. So, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be like last year where you can't have a campfire because conditions have been so dry here as they have been everywhere. My goodness, what is going on with the weather? Not that I want to talk about the weather, but wow, some of y'all, if you guys live in the south or the east, what the heck is going on? I am so sorry that you guys are having to go through that weather. Man, you know, that's why I'm not com really complaining about the weather here. I mean, it's like nice and cool today, so um, no complaints, no complaints, no complaints. I'm excited to see what this will look like. I don't think I picked a good picture. I'm like I said, I'm really new to diamond painting and this has so much black in it, but maybe, oops, I need some more wax. I'm just using this, just the wax, the regular wax that comes with kits. Um, do you guys like my pen? I've showed this before, but super stoked. Don't look at my nails. They're all, I'm letting them go because I'm go going camping, so I'm just going to take all my polish off anyway. Um, I can grab a drill. Um, yeah, I'm not going to complain about the weather. Definitely not. But yeah, um, that's what I was saying. Um, this will either turn out really well or it'll turn out really bad. And the reason why, what is going on? I'm not getting any, here, let me really pack it full. Um, because there's so much black in it that she'll either really stand out. Do you know what I mean? Because she's kind of surrounded by black. Or, I don't know, it might look horrible. I hope not. Now that I've, you know, gotten this kit and stuff. And um, I, I got it by um, through Paint with Diamonds great customer service. I got my kit really quickly. Um, the canvas looked great. There was just one valley, um, but it was not a big deal at all. There was no rivers in it. I just taped it down when I got it on my dining room table and let it sit there until I was done with the doctor. Sorry about that video, you guys. I really am. I'm not, uh, I am not intentionally doing anything. I, I, I mess up all the time. And when I went to take my phone off of this tripod, which I've shown you in another video, I hit the button and it stopped recording. And I was like, I'm not going to make them wait. I'm just going to do a really quick showing of the doctor. And so that's why it ended up being a short. It didn't give me an option or maybe it did. And I just don't understand it. So I don't know, but yeah, he turned out really nice. Really nice. Got some extra glue here. So what are you guys working on? I know that there's some, um, what is it? Uh, there's different, like, what do you call it? where a bunch of people are doing a similar thing with their paintings and then they get like a grand prize or something like that. Can you guys see over here? No, okay, so you can only see from here to here and then all the way, okay. Um, all right, well, I will stop doing the letter M then after these two. We'll switch colors. Um, but yeah, you get like a grand prize and stuff. I know one, the only one that I can remember the name of is, um, 
Well, there's something about heaven and earth, and I don't know what that is. Um, and then there's, um, there's an M. It was sneaking from you guys. I don't see any other ones. Let's see. The other one is called Drills and Chills, and it has to do with Halloween. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I don't do any of those because I'm not a fast painter. Um, not yet, at least. I don't, uh, I don't paint fast and the stuff that I'm, the type of paintings that I do are, they probably don't count. So, um, yeah. I mean, a Halloween one might, but Mine are like skulls and stuff, so so I don't know if that would count as one of them or not. Let's look at it. Let's look at this. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of R's, capital R's. What color is capital R? It is $37.99. Very common color. Always gotta tap these Harbor Freight um, containers before you open them. I've been using them a lot, so I've gotten really good at remembering that. Now watch me, watch me forget the next time I do it. So yeah, how are you guys doing? What's going on in your guys' lives? My life is, is um, kind of boring and I like it that way. I really don't have um, that much going on. You know, I'm a stay at home. Well, I'm not a stay-at-home mom anymore, but I'm a stay-at-home wife, I guess. So I just, you know, do house stuff, do the diamond painting. Um, see, is that too close together? Like, that's, I'm confused because it just, it doesn't seem like it's too close together to me. There are gaps. So hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Um, I've seen videos where people are putting the squares on and it even makes a popping sound. It goes click, not popping, but it goes click. You know, mine aren't doing that. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out, huh? Makes me nervous. Oh, here comes the sun. Can you guys see how much lighter it's getting? Maybe it will turn out to be a sunny day. It rained last night, so just a little bit. So that was nice because it got everything a little damp. We need that. I hope you guys get some rain soon. If you haven't, if you haven't, if you're in one of the states that hasn't gotten any rain, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys get some. You, you guys really need it with everything that's going on. It's just crazy weather, crazy. Um, yeah, today we slept in because as you guys know, my husband works at night and just made some breakfast, had our coffee and fed all the animals. Oh, we had our farrier come over on Sunday. She came over on Sunday. I used to trim our goat's hooves. And um, we have a goat that has funny toes, as we call it. Her toes are just a little funny. And so I found this gal. Um, I just love her. She's been doing our goat's hooves for years now, years. And so she comes over and she'll cut their hooves and... Um, she comes over every six weeks. Typically she'll do like every eight weeks, but I have found with my goats, if she comes over every six weeks, their hooves tend to be in a little bit better condition. So um, yeah, so we do every six weeks. She's really, really nice. It's so funny because we had known each other for quite a while and 
you know, we talk and stuff like that. And she's younger. She's, she's fairly young. And we talk and stuff. We usually talk about the goats. She also has goats and she's got rabbits and, you know, she, she has quite a few clients. She even does a, um, wildlife rescue, um, center. So she does all of their hooves and she does like sheep and stuff like that. But it was funny cause we were talking this, this, I don't know how this came up, but we were talking and we found out that we were both vegan, which is just crazy because there's not very many people who are vegan, that we were both vegan and we both have the same mental disorder. So, um, it, and it's not a common mental disorder either. So yeah. It was just, it was kind of a bonding moment, but, um, yeah, she usually brings her boyfriend and her boyfriend is studying to become an arborist. Pretty cool. I've never heard of, I've never, I've never known anybody who became an arborist before. So it's kind of neat because when he comes over, he's in school right now and he'll come over and he always knows, you know, something new about the trees on our property or, you know, the plants or he'll look at our, well, I don't know if he's going to be an arborist. It's just like nature. Cause he also knows a lot about like our garden and stuff like that. So, um, of course they have been gardening for a while. We're not too good at gardening. I'm just going to be honest. We're moving our garden. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we're gonna move it into our backyard, which is, it has a cyclone fence because we have had a horrible time with rabbits this year. Um, they have decimated my broccoli. I don't think I'm gonna get any broccoli this year at all, even though we have it covered. I think I did tell you guys that. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna move it into our backyard and kind of have a cute fence or something around it. Um, yeah. Kind of decorate it cute and that way we can have a protected garden there's always the slugs though right this year knock on wood we have not had a slug problem so that's been really nice but we have had other problems so I mean, even my zucchini and squash isn't doing very well. So, and we're getting pretty late in the year. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, kind of giving up hope on them almost. Um, but our onions are just gorgeous. They're huge. Sweet. We have sweet onion and we have red onion and they're just massive and they are delicious. And our potatoes, we have a huge crop of potatoes. Um... So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Oop, here's an R. I missed an R right there. Oh, there's a bunch right here. You can you guys see right here? Yeah, you can. Okay. I have to look at my I have to crook my neck and look at my phone. I'm telling you guys. I do not have a camera except for on the phone. I love doing this YouTube stuff though. I really do. I love hearing from you guys and spending time with you guys. I really, really do enjoy it. Um, like I said, I know my channel's not ever going to be big and I am completely fine with that. If, if my channel stays small, that's, that's fine. Um, I would rather just be able to talk to you guys. Oh, I ordered um, a couple more things from Timu. Someone asked me, do you guys remember the video that I, I think it was Timu Unbegging Part 1. Yeah, it was Timu, Timu Unbegging Part 1. And in that video, I had a box. Um, it was a magnetic box. And it was 13, like 13.8 by nine point something by three and a half. 
and someone asked me if I had an item number for that and I went back and looked at my order and I did not have an item number and I just told the person to type in magnetic box um, and you know how Timu is sometimes they'll have it still and sometimes it'll just be gone so I hope that that person found the if you're listening I hope you found the box it's meant for um gift giving it actually comes with a a card and a bow so it's for like giving gifts but I'm using it I'm well I'm hopefully going to use it for um drills extra drills um, so yeah, so I ordered, oh, I need more wax. Um, I ordered from Timu. Um, I saw a diamond painting that I liked, but I also wanted to get some more baggies because I keep ordering the wrong size baggies as you guys saw again in Timu part one, on bagging part one. Those bags were so tiny. I still don't know what I'm going to do with them. If you guys have suggestions, please let me know. They're so tiny. Um, but I ordered some more baggies. And this time, I think I read the, direct, the description very carefully. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and it said that they were two by three. So that, that would work out great. I just hope that the quality of the bag is good. Um, I can't remember if that was the one that was two, two mil or not. Um, cause that would be a nice, so that would be a nice thickness of bag. But, um, yeah, so I've got one painting coming and one, oh, oh my gosh. Remember I told you guys I was waiting for a painting from the Diamond Art Club I don't, I don't know if you guys remember that, but I, I've been waiting and waiting. Remember in my video, I said that I actually, t I actually emailed them. and was like, Hey, um, sorry to bother you. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't get forgotten about, you know, did, did you guys get that back in stock? And they were like, Oh no, we haven't yet. We'll definitely let you know. Well, I got the email. They got it back in stock. I couldn't grab my card fast enough to buy it. Um, I will definitely be unboxing that. It's it's really cool. I mean, they sold out so fast um, of, of this painting. And I'll give you a hint. It is from one of my favorite artists on Diamond Art Club, um, Enes Guerdo. She did, um, you guys will recognize her. She did The Wicked Witch, which is one that I've finished. Um, she also did Morgana. She did Rococo Dream. So if you guys know about those paintings, that's her. She just, I love the way that she draws. She has a really, oh, she also did Season of the Witch, which those are all ones that I currently have that I need to kit up and start working on. I'm only working on Coco right now and um, in a world full of Princesses Be a Witch, uh, which is just a 30 by 40. And I only do that when um, Coco and I are outside, when it's nice outside. So I, I work on it out there because I'm not going to bring this painting outside and risk something happening to it. So plus it's very bulky. Um, I, this is a 70 by 50. You guys, I wanted to ask you this too. Um, do you see the way that the, 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 the symbols are, they're coming towards me. The painting goes like this. It's long this way, this direction. It's long and it's short this direction. But the symbols are coming down at me, so I have the painting on its side. Does that make sense to you guys? I have the painting on its side while I'm working on it. It's quite odd. Um, let me know if that's normal. If you guys have had that before, is that something that's normal? Like, um, 
with this kind of stuff? Is it a paint by di paint by yeah paint by diamonds? Is it a paint by diamond um, thing or is it a double sided adhesive thing or have you guys come across that? I just think it's odd because when I go to turn it around. Um, everything's going to be completely upside down, which I've worked on paintings where they're, the symbols are completely upside down. So I, I get that, but it's just odd. Um, and again, I'm new to this. So you guys are probably like, nope, Remy, this is normal. Don't worry about it. Um, and if it is, that's great. Then, then that's what it is. But yeah. Look how cricket that one is. It's crickety crackety. Let's turn it a little bit. Let's turn both of those. So yeah, I just do it by color. Or well you could say color or symbol, I guess. So oh, so yeah, real quick back to the brownies that my daughter made. They were so good. They were like it was almost like fudge and she do you guys remember she made me black currant jam and she didn't like it and she said it tastes really healthy mom I think you'll, you'll like it uh, oh, that's funny um well she used red currants in the brownies and they were really good it was really it was kind of like a and she hardly used any sugar so it was like this chocolatey fudge-like consistency brownie that had like a sour note to it. I don't know if that sounds good, but I don't think I'm describing it very well. But it was delicious. It was so good, you guys. Definitely had a piece of that. We still have some left. We're going to go over and visit them when um, after we get back from camping. Go over there and visit them and I'll use their internet. <laughs> My daughter, she was like, Mom, I keep seeing your videos coming up on YouTube. She goes, how are you uploading videos to YouTube? And I had to tell her, I'm like, honey, I'm going to Walmart parking. I'm going to the Walmart parking lot. She laughed. She's like, yeah, because like there's 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 no way. Like, I know. I know. But I really, I love doing it so much that I'm just like, even though, and my phone will only hold a certain amount of video on it. So, cause it's pretty full. I need to, I told you guys, I don't have a computer. My son's building one, but, um, I need, I need a computer because I need to take my photos and put it on a computer so that I can free up my phone to have more videos or whatever. And I need to be good about printing out my photos. I am so bad with that. I have so many photos I wanna print out. I'm, I'm basically, there's so many at this point, I'm just gonna to have to do it in stages. I'll have to do like, I don't know, 10 at a time or something. I don't know how much it is to print out photos anymore. I know our Walmart used to have a, oh, you know, Walgreens has a photo department. That's where I'll do it. I'll we'll do it there. My tray needs to be washed. I think it's kind of sticky with, um, I think I said this last time too, sticky with the wax. Yeah, tell me what you guys are working on and any events that are going on in your life. You know, sometimes life is crazy and we're, can you guys see right here? Right there, yeah. Um, sometimes life is crazy and it just throws all kinds of things at you and other times it's just kind of slow and calm. I don't know, is that, is that when I should worry? <laughs> should I worry? I'm a worrier, you guys. Are you guys warriors? Not warriors. Well, I'm a, I, I think I'm a warrior too, but I'm a warrior. 
I worry about everything. I have a major anxiety disorder. This um, diamond painting helps me a lot. That's why I was doing it when they were working on the car, other than the fact that I wanted to work on it, but I knew if I was focused on this um, that I wouldn't even think about what they were doing, and it was true, it worked, so. It worked. Well, I think what I'm gonna do right now is go to our questions. Um, I've got three questions picked out. So let me know in the comments if you guys like me to do the questions or if it's just not your jam. You know, if you're like, no, we just want you to talk. Um, but I kind of like the question portion, portion of it because I literally do look at the question bef before I do the video, but I don't think of my answer. So I just quickly look at the question, see if it's appropriate, um, and then go, okay, yeah, and mark the page. So let me guys know if you like this portion of my whip and chats because I have been doing that with every whip and chat. So, okay, let me, let me take a look. Our first question is, what is your most treasured memory? Wow. Yeah. Well, I have one in mind, but I don't know if it's my most treasured memory. Um, I have a memory of being in our first house and my daughter was mm, two and a half, I wanna say, cause I was pregnant with my son and we were redoing a room for him. We ripped up all the carpet, we redid the walls, um, all, the whole thing, the window. I mean, we did everything because it was downstairs. And um, I just, I have this memory of, I, I happened to look in the room. She, she had been in the room, I had been in the room, but I walked, I stepped out for a moment and I looked in the room and she was sitting on the floor with her face towards the window. And the sunlight was coming in through the window and it was hitting her face and her blonde hair. And so her hair was lit up from the sun and she was just intently looking out the window. She wasn't staring at the sun, she was just looking out the window. And I remember I just, I stopped. I just literally stopped and took in that moment. I, I knew that that was something special right there and then. Um, I don't, I don't know if that resonates with any of you, but I just, I just felt like that was so, this will probably straighten once I put the drill next to it. I just felt like that was something so special. It was very special to me. Um, but I don't know if that's my most treasured memory. That would be a really hard one to think of. My goodness. I mean, I've, what's your guys' most treasured memory? I've been through, there's just so much, you know? I mean, when you have kids and you're married and there's just so I'm switching to E. There's so many um, memories to think of. I loved going to, taking our kids to the ocean every year. Oops. Um, yeah, that, but that's one that, I, that sticks out in my mind, 934. That's one that really sticks out in my mind. And um, yeah, I'll never forget that. That will be with me for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, what's your guys' most treasured memory? I love to kind of get my brain working, you know, sometimes 
I find myself not really um, pushing myself or I don't, I don't know what the word would be, but um, I find that these questions kind of, kind of spark my brain, you know, they kind of push me to really think. Okay. Next question. Oh, I like this one. When did you last sing to yourself or to someone else? <laughs> I sing all the time. I am a music buff. I love pretty much every form of music except for maybe polka <laughs> and jazz. I'm kind of not into that, but... um. I love pretty much all kinds of music and I will just, I don't have any qualms about singing. So when was the last time I did it? Well, honestly, uh, yesterday, it seems like every morning, does this happen to you guys? Every morning I wake up with a song in my head and it, and it will stay in my, like it will get stuck in my head for hours, for hours. And I'll either have to listen to the song or listen to another song to get it out of my head finally. Does that happen to anybody? Oh, my dishes are done. Does that happen to anybody? Do you guys wake up with songs in your head? Yeah, when was the last time you guys sang? Like, do you sing in the shower? You know what I mean? I, I know a lot of people sing in the shower, but I don't know. Do you feel comfortable singing in front of people? Um, I know I hum a lot when I'm by myself. I'll sing by myself. Oops, need more wax. I'll sing when I'm by myself too, but it just doesn't bother me because it's it, literally it's just my husband. So, and he's just like, here she goes. <laughs> Here she goes. What song is it today? Yeah. So I, I, it's not a daily thing for me, but I would say it's, it's fairly common for me to sing. Oh, got some wax right there. There we go. Sometimes I'll have songs in my head that I hate. And I'm like, how did this song get in my head? Do you guys remember the song? Oh my gosh, what was it? Safety Dance. Does anybody remember that song? Can you guys see right here? Yeah. Does anybody remember the song Safety Dance? Please tell me I'm not alone. Please tell me you remember that song. I'm not going to sing it because of YouTube, but I can't stand that song. They played it constantly, constantly on MTV. Oh my gosh. In the 80s, it was just like, I don't know what the deal was. And maybe that's why I don't like it is because they played it so often. And I just got to the point where I was like, please turn it off. Like, don't, please don't ever play that song again. But like, I'll have songs like that stuck in my head. It's like, every, you know, I'll have songs that I like stuck in my head too. But I'm not kidding you. It's probably half and half. I don't know what my brain's doing. It's like, what are you doing up there? What are you doing? Are you trying to torture me here? I want to listen to that song. But yeah, then I'll end up humming it. And uh, then I have to, I literally do. I'll just turn, I'll go to my favorites on my YouTube or whatever. And just pick us, just pick any song, <laughs> any song off of my favorites to listen to. And it typically it will get rid of it. So yeah. Okay. That was a great question. I really like that question. Okay, our last question for the day. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? Hmm. Wow. Jeez. What do I feel most grateful for? I feel grateful. I, I know a lot of people will say, oh, my health. Or, oh my, you know, and, and yeah, I, I do want to say that, but, but I'm going to go with this. I feel most grateful for the fact that I have people that genuinely love me unconditionally. 
I'm very, very, very grateful for that. Um, I'm not alone. Um, I'm somebody that doesn't have a lot of friends. Um, it has to do with my illness. Yeah, yeah, I know. I haven't told you guys, but I, it's just, I, I don't know if I'm comfortable or not. But um, I'm grateful for the fact that I have people who love me unconditionally um, and that there's, there's people that are here for me when I need them. Um, and sometimes I forget about that. Sometimes I think nobody cares about me, um, you know, and then something will happen like my daughter making me brownies and it just, it's little things like that that just blow my mind. And I, I'm not being, I'm not exaggerating. Like it blows my mind that she thought enough about me to make vegan gluten-free brownies. This is the, you know, uh, that is so thoughtful, so thoughtful. I'm just so grateful for these people in my life. I'm so grateful for my children. I'm so grateful for my husband. I'm so grateful for Coco who helps me every day she helps me every day. She knows when I'm not doing well. She knows. She's my little emotional therapy dog. Um, yeah, so I, I, would, I, I would definitely go with that answer. I feel, I feel comfortable with that answer. Yeah. What are you guys most grateful for? You know, it doesn't have to be like this spectacular answer it's not a contest it's nothing like that it's just it's just you you know what you're grateful for what you're grateful for might not be what somebody else is grateful for it doesn't make it any lesser you know of, of a thing it's it's what you're grateful for i'm getting a little bit on that a right there aren't i there i go yeah so those are the questions for today you guys I think I'm going to leave it here because um, I'll be in the Walmart parking lot now for about an hour and a half. <laughs> I do it for you guys. I do it all for you. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there. And I'm just so happy that you guys chose to join me today. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for picking me and, and listening to me and joining in. I hope you joined in. I hope you answered the questions. Maybe, maybe tonight at dinner, you can bring those questions up to your family and, and have a conversation about it. That would be fun. I might do that with my husband. I, I didn't think to do that before, but yeah, that would be something that would be fun to do with your kids or even with a friend, you know, something good to do. All right, my friends. Well, with that, I hope I leave you in good spirits. And I will see you soon with an unbagging or an unboxing or a kidding up. We'll see. All right. Take care, loves. Bye-bye.